so was the so was the blind element by region and just AVA. Okay. Fruit immediately. Was there one that you might not have guessed was Pinot if you weren't told it was Pinot from the start? That's a good question. Just, you know, based on the Church color. Wise, I, I just went to Pinot. It's hard to say when you already know that you're coming into a Pinot. Like, I had seen some at, at, at Dutch Henry. Dutch Henry did some Pinots from uh, Mount Howell that were so dark. My first question was, did you blend any Petite Syrah with it? And he said, no, it was all 100% Pinot Noir, which kind of blew me away. So, nothing by, by color threw you off. Thank you, Wendy. Bye. 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 No. And they're like fooling us. <laughs> no, blind tastings are always amazing, and this kind of goes into um, sommelier testing, which is one of the films that was at the Napa Valley Film Festival. How yes. they can't. I saw it. Oh, I was there. Did you? Did I you? I was there, yeah. I was fascinated by it. Um, just how you can go f just from sight, swirl, smell, sip, sip. spit, go. And back. And back. Vintage, yeah. varietal, region. Year is something um, uh, is like the vintage. Uh, they had so many references at the tip of their tongue. They were really, really on top of their game. I've often wondered. I would love to do a documentary on how you get ready for that. Did did okay, was the that gun. the film on? Was the film on getting ready for yes, it or yes. on the actual test? Wow, yes. wow. Yes, it was. It showed how they spent all their time tasting and also together. I mean, all the time. That's all they did was study. And it sure. was always tasting, spitting, uh, smelling, you know, savoring, one of the one of the smelling, One finding. of the reasons I, I, I do this site is because of the mystique that wine is surrounded in because of what it is. But the humility with which the true experts go about what, what they do. Did you find that with them? Was there a... I don't know everything, but you're still fascinated by their wine knowledge? Uh, yeah, they're all very, very uh, humble guys, you know, but they're also on the other side of the coin. Um, they're big experts, they know it. Even the, 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 the two that didn't pass the first time went on, uh, one went on to a very big job, the other went back in to get you know, That's get the, to pass the test. Right. You have to pass the test. Right. But they're all very aware of, of a kind of special gift that they have. Yeah. And uh, of expressing them. And, uh, no, it's, it's, and it's... Because they're not just doing wine. They're doing spirits. They're doing pairings. They're, that really? master test isn't just about wine. It's about wine in the world of food, pairing, spirits, uh, cigars. Wow. The sommelier wow. of that particular world-class test is huge. It's encompassing. So, okay, so according just don't to do wine. so according to my notes, there's 175 master sommeliers in the world. No, there's 190, but I don't know. That. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there's a difference between master sommelier and master of wine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And master of wine, there are very, very few of those. What is the Definition of, of a master of wine. How, how does that differ from sommelier? It's a different board to test. I think they're. I think it's they're English actually. I think it's like you have to go to London and take the exam. Because this one. Really. This one's in Dallas, believe it or not, by one of the very great, you know, sommeliers. Well, I wasn't shocked to hear that most of those master psalms live in Las Vegas because that's well, where they they're going to get. They don't live in Las Vegas. They were offered jobs in Las Vegas, so therefore they went to Las Vegas. They okay. Were, only one was living there, and that's because he had a great job there. It's not like they were really from Las Vegas. Las okay. Vegas happens to give the opportunity to people because of the because of its clientele, sure. Yeah, that sure. they can constantly be serving that kind of clientele at that price. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I wasn't sh shocked by, you know. Um, yeah. and I wouldn't some think of them are right someone. here. I mean, oh, yeah. Really, there were three of them that were right in the Bay Area. One of them that didn't pass the test and didn't pursue it after two times of failing uh, is a wine teacher expert in Napa Valley.
So, I mean, they all go on to these jobs that are incredible all over the world, just yeah. even attempting to take the test. They never did tell us how much it costs to take the test. They have to pay to do it. Well, yeah, I, yeah this isn't a freebie. Yeah, nobody wow. knows. That wasn't said. I'm sure you can look it up. Will do. <clears throat> Thank you. Hi, this is Wendy at the Valley Wine Shack. Come down Wednesdays every Wednesday from 6 to $8, tasting.